Lady Whitesnake There may not be another place as beautiful as the famed West Lake, located in China. This lake lies next to the city of Hangzhou, and bordered by green hills, it is often compared to a painted landscape. Visitors come from all over the continent and beyond to walk around the banks and then take boats to get across the water. A long time ago, high up in the Imai Mountains, there lived a snake that was white and a snake that was black. The snakes had powers that were magical. The white one could modify itself to resemble a beautiful young girl named Ba Zhu Zheng, Lady White. The black one also modified herself to become a maiden that was pleasant to look at. Her name was Xiao Xing. One spring day, the strollers saw a young lady that was lovely and dressed in white, and her maid, also young, dressed in black. No one would have known that they were really the white snake and a black snake transformed into human form. They had traveled from Hangzhou to experience the joy of the human world by flying to the clouds from Mount Imai, where their home is located. The snakes came to visit West Lake, which is located on the Hangzhou. They were so attracted to the scenery. One of the ladies said that it was even more beautiful than she expected while they walked along. I smelled the peach blossoms in the air. Here's that famous bridge that is broken, said White. That bridge is not bro a broken bridge, said Black. I know, that is just its name, said Lady White as she smiled. So glad we came here from our cold and dreary mountain. The sun made a pass beyond, behind the dark clouds, and the girl spotted a young man standing there holding an umbrella beneath his arms. The man named Zhu Zhang came walking across the bridge of Deng Kuo. Lady White started to fall in love with the man. He is so handsome, said Black. Lady White agreed. She felt her heart flutter, which is something she had never experienced before in life. Suddenly, it began to rain, and the ladies took shelter under a willow. The young man noticed their situation. Ladies, he said, you will not be dry under that willow. Please, take my umbrella. But, sir, do you not need it for yourself? said Lady White. I will be fine, he said. See the boat I will hire, See the boat I will hire him to take us to the city. As the two women and the man crossed the lake, the ladies asked the man to sit much closer in order to share his, the umbrella. The man and Lady White looked at each other shyly and spoke in an awkward way, while Black continued the conversation to keep them talking and getting to know each other. After a while, the boat landed at the landing, and the women proceeded to leave. The rain had stopped at this time, but Black noticed the clouds and pointed towards the sky. The rain started to pour down again. Just as she had hoped, the man stated, Please, take my umbrella home with you. I'll come to pick it up tomorrow from your home. Thank you, sir, said Lady White. We will expect you. Please do not disappoint us. The next day, Zhu Zhang came to the house to get his umbrella from the ladies. As Black offered some tea and then some wine, the man informed Lady White that he had been an orphan and was just returning from his mother's grave when he met them the day prior. He had lived with his sister and brother-in-law. He talked about working as an assistant in a shop for herbal medicine. Pleased with his manner and words, Lady White asked Black to speak with her privately and left the room. Black said, My sister was wondering if you would like to marry her. In surprise, the man said, I would love nothing better, However, I make so little, and I would not be able to support us all. Oh, no worries, said Black. My sister has a large inheritance from our father. Today is a lucky day, and you should really be married right away. You can inform your sister of this union later. That umbrella can do for the gift to the bride. I can go ahead and light the candles for you. Practically before he knew it, Zhu Zhang was standing beside the Lady White in her bridal gown. They bowed to their ancestors, to earth and heaven, and to each other, completing the ceremony. They were now officially married as husband and wife. The abbot, Fa Hai, along with Jinshan, 
had a feeling that something was wrong. They found the white snake and the man attempting to marry. The Fahai pledged to capture and capture the snake and stop the marriage. Once the marriage ceremony was over, the snakes and the man moved to the city of Zhenjiang, near the Yangtze River. They opened up a shop to sell herbal medicine. The lady that is white would write some prescriptions, while Zhu Zhang and Zhao Jing would dispense the medicine and gather the medical needs. Patients from all over came, and those who were not able to pay would receive free medical treatment along with medicines and supply. The store grew very quickly in popularity and became known by all the people in the area. Fa Hai noticed that Zhu Zhen was at the shop one day and warned him that who he thought his wife was was a lie. He told him that although she was pregnant by him, she was actually a snake. He suggested that they could find a way to get her to reveal who she really was. There was a festival that had alcoholic drinks, since everyone was celebrating the Festival of the Dragon Boats. He said, uh, he said that on that day, Zhu Zhang could buy at the festival some alcohol and realgar to celebrate, as well as ask Lady White if she wanted to drink with him. The husband coaxed the Lady White to drink. She found no reason to drink, not to drink, so she did. He was prepared for the Rialgar to wipe away her magic skill and that, were blocking, and that was blocking her from who she really was. However, Lady White was suddenly ill and unable to manage to find her bed. Zhu Zhang carried her to the bed in a hurry. When he got there, he laid her down. He then drew the curtains only to discover that Lady White was not there anymore. In the place of his wife was a large snake that is white, which had been coiled in the bed. Zhu Zhang was so shocked that he fainted on the floor and then died. When the Rialgar wore off and its power was no longer potent, Lady White was able to return to her human form. When she saw her beloved lying in the floor dead, she went into action to try and rectify the situation. Because of her herbal background, she knew that Genoderma glossy, along with herbs of celestial variety on the Kun Lun mountaintop, would be able to restore him back to life. Knowing this, she flew to Kun Lun Mountain so that she could steal the celestial herbs. Then she encountered the white crane, which was guarded by heavenly guards that were looking for the glossy Genoderma. Lady White fought to take the herb from the land and they fought to keep her from removing the herb. Suddenly, a commanding voice came across. The voice was from an immortal being who lived on the southern end of the mountain. It was the voice of an immortal from the southern end. By showing her perseverance and sincerity, she impressed the immortal so much that he awarded her the Ganoderma Glossy. Suddenly, the husband is restored to life by the elixir but his happiness was short-lived because he remembered what the abbot had tried to tell him. Once he was fully recovered, Zhu Zhang traveled to the sacred temple. He learned that in order to separate himself from his wife, Fa Hai made him become a monk. Zhao Xing and Lady White ran to the temple of Jin Shan. They begged Fa Hai to allow her husband to go free. However, he denied her request. They gathered their underwater friends to create an army to attack the monastery. They used the water that was available to flood the temple. Fahai made an agreement that would keep the water level under the temple, allowing the mountain to grow. Fahai had his magic ability to command the soldiers. Because of the white one being pregnant, she was not able to fight with the others. Lady White fled with Zhao Jing to the lake up to the west so that they were able to meet Zhu Zhang. Zhao, King, Zhao Jing became very angry at Zhu for not informing her of his release. She vowed to kill him when she, let, when she saw him later. Zhu, who was being held in the monastery, was secretly able to escape during the battle. However, he was unable to inform his wife. When they ran into Zhu, Zhao Xing, Fa Hai, 
noticed that Zhu Zheng was at the, was at the shop one day and warned him that who he thought was his wife was a lie. He was told that although she was pregnant by him, she was actually a snake. He suggested that they could find a way to get her to reveal her, who she really was. There was a festival that had alcoholic drinks, since everyone was celebrating the festival of the dragon boats. He said that on that day, Zhu Zhang could buy at the festival some alcohol and Rialgar to celebrate as well as to ask the Lady White if she wanted to drink with him. The husband coaxed the Lady White to drink. She found no reason not to drink, so she did. He was prepared for the Rialgar to wipe away her magic skills that were blocking her from being who she really was. However, Lady White was suddenly ill and unable to manage to find her bed. Zhu Zhang carried her to, to the bed in a hurry. When he got there, he laid her down. He then drew the curtains, only to discover that Lady White was not there anymore. In place of his wife was a large snake that is white, which had been coiled on the bed. Zhu Zhang was so sh shocked that he fainted on the floor and then died. When the Rialgar woke wore off and its powers was no longer, were no longer potent, Lady White was able to return to her human form. When she saw her beloved lying in the floor dead, she went into action to try and rectify the situation. Because of her herbal background, she knew that Ganonderma glossy, along with the herb of celestial variety, on the Kunlun mountaintop, would be able to restore him back to life. Knowing this, she flew to Kunlun Mountain so that she could steal the celestial herbs. She then encountered the white crane, which was guarded by heavenly guards that were looking for the glossy Ganonderma. Lady White fought to take the herb from the land, and they fought her to keep her from removing the herb. Suddenly, a commanding voice came across. The voice was from an immortal being who lived on the southern end of the mountain. It was the voice of an immortal from the southern end. By showing her perseverance and sincerity, she impressed the immortal so much that he awarded her the Ganoderma Glossy. Suddenly, the husband is restored to life by the elixir. But his happiness was short-lived because he remembered what the abbot had tried to tell him. Once he was fully recovered, Zhu Zhen traveled to the sacred temple. He learned that in order to separate himself from his wife, Fa Hai made him become a monk. Zhao Jing and Lady White ran to the temple of Jin Shen, and they begged Fa Hai to allow her husband to go free. However, he denied her request. They gathered their underwater friends to create an army to attack the monastery. They used the water that was available to flood the temple. Fa Hai made an agreement that would keep the water level under the temple, allowing the mountain to grow. Fa Hai had his, this magical, magic ability to command the soldiers. Because of the white one being pregnant, she was not able to flight, fight with the others. Lady White fled with Zhao Jing to the lake uh, to the west so that they were able to meet Zhu Zhen. Zhao Jing became very angry at Zhu for not informing her of his release. She vowed to kill him when she saw him later. Zhu, who was being held in the monastery, was secretly able to escape during the battle. However, he was unable to inform his wife. When they ran into Zhao Jing, another battle ensued. However, Zhu was able to stand her ground and tell her husband the truth when Zhao Jing was able to meet them. They finally understood each other and were able to live together. Fa Hai decided to go to the heavens and ask the Jade Emperor if he would help them. Suddenly a fighter came along that was in possession of a lantern that was magical. Lady of the White Snake had given birth to her first son. Zhu Zhang brought his son a hat that later turned into this lantern. The la this lantern put a spell on the lady and gave it control of her to the fight and gave control of her to the fighter. She was then imprisoned in a cell under the pagoda at Thunder Peak, located at West Lake. At this time, the black lady had fled the area and began to practice her magic for protection. 
Many years later, her magic was strong enough for her to get revenge on them for imprisoning her sister snake. She waged war on the pagoda and destroyed it while rescuing her sister. Lady White was able to reunite with her husband as well as her son. Zhao Jing was able to defeat Fa Hai, and they asked the crab to swallow him. This ensured that he would never bother them again. Then they lived happily for all eternity.